So here we are in the Night Russia on page Kuftes Kuf Tes Vov. The Rav or the Tiv gives an intro and he says Tikun Klira Yisod the Nok Ayedecha Yedaim the Ima. Using the hands of Ima is the Tikun. The question is, what does hands mean? What do all these words mean? So he says we're going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to pick up the tib and learn from there. He said, number yud gimel va'altach adavir inyan konenis the preparation v'tikun zera kli the so the nukva. We're going to talk about this. Ma inyano, what's going on here? So acher shehiskir harav. So after the rav has come over and he's uh, mentioned b'gitzara as inyan tikun the so the nuk. On the Asa Ayedech Avdiya Rishon of Belilah, which happens at that time, he says, "Albiya Rishon of Belilah, Maski Levayer Inyan Tikun Zera Becharichos, who Maski Levayer as Shnei Atikunim on the Asa Be Yisod the Nuk." These two things that happen in the Yisod of the Nuk, Tikun the Rishon who Tikun Klicha Yisod Atzma, who Na Asa Al Yedech Hayidayim Deima. So how do the hands of Ima work? What does that mean? But Tikun Sheni, who Nisinas Harucha, that there's a Rucha, a, a uh, you know, this word Rucha is a, a word with multiple meanings. I will call it a breath at this time. But Rucha be so denuk, but be a Rishona. But it means much more than that. So let's see what else we could say. He named Mehem Elias on the Shamas Bakal Lila. So from them you have Elias. Let's go back to this idea that every night when we go to sleep, our Nishamas go up. He be Yisod of Malchus. Where does it go? It goes into the Yisod of Malchus. Nukva Ilyona, who is the upper Nukva, meaning I think the Nukva of Olamatzilus. Shahu Besarechem Shalom, which is actually where is this place? This Yisod of, of, of Malchus is really referring to her womb. Now the place, he says that this is the fact. The face, you want to know how it's made out of the hands of Ima. So he said the cause, the womb of Ima is called a hand. Because before we go to sleep, we say this phrase, We say this every night, Gavishan is boyer lael as we explained previously. Be called lila be eser shena when we're sleeping. Nishama bnei yisrael atachtoina. So what happens there? Your body is lying inert, and we go through this many different ways. The nishama is not inert, and it starts moving up, and it goes back to its origins. Yachad im habirurim, and it comes up together with different kinds of birurim, which means particles of kedusha. Uh, the Shevis of Malachim Shanish Bro, of those different, cut, takes along with it some of the broken parts, some of the broken pieces. Of Olim Laman, and what happens is now they're moving upwards, and this is what's called Mayim Nukvin. Li Yisod Amalchus Nuk Dezer Anpin, and where do they go up to? Bringing all of the Shefa and all of the problems of this world along with it, Amalchus Nuk Dezer Anpin. Shehub Beis Arechem Shalah, which is her womb. It's also called by the name of Yad, a hand. So I can't wait to find out. So he's so this is the secret of this Pasuk. I deposit my Ruach. Now, what's we just used the word Ruach before, uh, which meant to say that aspect of the male aspect that's forming the kli, but that's how it, so this, that particular phrase, referring now to the womb of Edom, that's where I'm going to deposit my ruach. That we are uh, depositing, once again, this word ruach, uh, we're depositing it as it goes up and does what and it's placed in the, the sod of Malchus also known as the Nuk now that's a question who's there this is the reason why it's called a hand is it a man skill the voyeur madua you sowed 
Hanuk Nikra B'Shem Yan. Now remember, he, I'm just thinking that anatomically, he's he's saying that the Yisod of the Nuk is her womb. But we know that Yisod is, is Zok, so I, I, I don't quite see anatomically how that how that is. Uh, but because it leads to the womb, so I guess it's the same idea. Once it gets in there, it's in there. Ki hine chamesh gevuros, and there are five gevuros. Shehem sel chamisha osius mansapach, v'chamisha osius elokim. So now we went. Did we go through this before? But I, I sound familiar. There's five and five here, right? That makes ten. V'sharshem heim l'mala v'chamisha b'kom l'kenisku be'idre rabba. So the shur the rushal is in five different places that we mentioned before. V'heim b'chut mecha b'puma uv'duroyim v'chavayadin uv'etzbon. Now, did we learn this already? Maybe we did. Um, we did. We went through this already. So I'm not sure. I think I went backwards because I wanted to do some arichos. So this sounds familiar. So I'm going to read the top part. And um, uh, at where it says on number test vav. Okay, well, that's where I'm at. So so explains in the Idra Rabbah. The Chamisha Gevuras and Mispashta and Mechadas, the five Gevuras that come, Heim Chamisha Osius Mansapach, the Heim Mispashta and Bechamesh Makoma, the Gufa Zeranpen, Bechoyte Mispashta Os Mem, so now he goes through it. Of the Kach Suras Shne Nikve Haav, Agula, so therefore the nostrils are roundish, could Suras Mem Stuma, a Stuma, so like a closed up Mem. The pe, so he says, and then another place is the mouth. This pashtim ba'os pe sofi. So he says that pe goes in there. Melush and pe. So it's lush and pe. So the mouth and the pe go together. This rose of in his arm, this pashtim the os nun, which is long. The kach suris, uh, 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 has, has rose the form, the form of the arms, a rucha. Uh, uh, ka, nun, they're long. Uh, uh, bakapos, now we saw we talked that the hands themselves, ya does, mispashte ha oz vov, lakach nis rakaf, because kaf yad, because it's called a kaf yad. Uh, uh, so I'm not sure how the, the vov refers to the concept of nikris kaf yad, the palm of the hand. Uvitz boz mistashim ha oz sadik, and there it comes into the oz sadik. So therefore, in the word etzba, which means fingers, you have that tzadi. So every place we're talking about here, about these five different places, all of the five gavuros are incorporated in those five places. It's really, okay, so the mansapach is in these five different places. Once again, it's the the nostrils, the mouth, the arms, the hand, and the fingers. Ella shecha goyve v'sham b'kol makom mehem enu rab guvura achas mehem belvad. But in each case, there's no mixtures. Is that what he means? But it's only only the guvura. One guvura is shalit in each one of these places. V'hichan nekeri v'han niglas sham. Ubal klalo klalos kol chamesh guvuros. And in there, there's also the, there's a shlita of one of them. But all the others are there too. That's I think that's what he says. So he says, Afsha Bapasha uh 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 Pashtus Lashana Idra Mora. So the lang language of the 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 simple meaning of this of this in the Idra. Shabakal Asar Bakal Echad Mechamesha Makomas and Iskarm, each one of them is Pashte Rakavur Achas, you only see the Ispashas of one of the Gavuros. Ain Zakach, so that's what you might have thought. Because each one of them has all five of them in the five places, Allah, but the difference is, because each one has one Gavura which is, uh, uh, which is uh, understood as one of the letters of the Mansapach. And so it's recognized there because it's revealed there. But every Gavura has all the rest of the Gavuras in it, but the one on the nameplate, that's the one that we're talking about, one of the letters of the Mansapach. Let's go on a little bit more. 
because in the nose, nikr benigdach gevura achas behem bilva, because let's say for in the nose where it starts, there's only one gevura you could say, you could see there. Uba klalos kulam, and in that one gevura, all the rest of them are in there too. Bal derek zerhu bepuma, same thing in the mouth. V'amna besofa chamisha makomas. Now when you get back to the, to the fingers, but Malcolm Hamisha Achron, that when we're talking about Hamisha Achron, that is the of the last of the five Shabachem, Sham Nigloch of the Nikroch of the Kolch of Hamesh Gavurus Kulam, then this place you see all five of them. The Techen Kenegdom Koya Hamesh is Bala, so therefore, since they're distinct, that you could see all five of them again. He said previously that each one of the, of the five places he mentioned has one dominant one, with the exception. Of this place, which has all five revealed, so he said. So each is distinct; each finger is distinct from its neighbor. Because that's where you find the revelation of every really clearly defined those gevuros. Masha ain came which is not the case in all of the rest of the five places. Bekomaki ain sham begilui rak hotem echod o pe echod the kiyotsa, because there they have only a gilui of one of these. Vaarbecha havarim shabachem is pashtim the gavurus the hilo. He said about Azai Kaben Sharak Gavura Achaz he a Ikris the nig of the niglish sham kaamor, and there that's the one that is revealed there. The chain call echod behem who aver you a you. Yechidi, it's an individual aver, it's by itself. Ula mechad spaus, the fingers. Kevin shebechem, who makom his pashtus achrom shal the gavur. So this is the final place where all the gavuras collect. Sham, uh, so he says, Sham kal ha chamisha gavuros, heim begilui. There you see the chamisha gavuros are revealed. Mamish. V'lekach, v'lekach, heim chamisha etzbaus. So therefore, there's, that's the reason why there are five fingers here. Nifrodim and they're all separated one from another. Corresponding to the five Gavuros that are revealed there. Now we're going to stop here. I see that really we were there. We were here uh, like last week, something like that. And uh, I went through it, but I needed to see it again, and I'm glad I did. The thing is about the fingers. The fingers in some places I see that they say that the right hand is the is the hand of Chesed, and the left hand is the hand of Gavura. But on the other hand, they're both squeezing functions, which are really the aspects of Gavura. So I'm I- interested to see why he's bringing us this idea of the five Gavuros manifest in the fingers. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tikkun Elevator Kolo. So this is Baruch Fleischmann, and you're listening to the Tikkun Elevator Kolo. So once again, we're back to the word Ashray, which literal translation mo- normally means happy. What's the happiness here? So as you look at the picture, and I tried to say this yesterday, and I'll try to say it again. The real reality is nothing. That is the nothingness of Hashem that binds all things together, but from, in our perspective, the inside out. The playing of the harp, the vibrations, are an effort to be able to reach the real nothing that's beyond it. Because at the end of each note is an empty space. Inside of all living things are all things that exist, the plants, the animals, so on and so forth, is this one unifying aspect, which is Hashem. So, not physical. There's no physicality at all. You can't tack him on the wall, but he is in the wall. And in everything manifests differently according to the pathways of light that we study. So here we go over here. Whoa, 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 